Here we go guys. This is the video everyone's been waiting for. It's the headset gaming kiosk from GameStop. So let's get right into this. So basically when I found this, I found it at night obviously, and it was basically, everything's basically brand new for the most part. Everything's obviously used, but everything's in basically decent condition besides this one. This one right here is broken, the bottom ear cup, that's probably why this was tossed out. That's what my conclusion has come to. I'm gonna assume that's probably why it was tossed out. But either way, I wanna let you guys know before I actually start going over the headsets, this thing was extremely dusty. I don't know if anyone could tell at night when I made the video, but it was so, so dusty. Like everything was covered in dust and I was actually able to clean it all up. So it looks basically brand new. Everything's kind of really, really shiny. Get a 360 view around this. First things first, we have the Afterglow. So we have Afterglow, Afterglow, Afterglow. This one is a Triton. This one is the Astro A freaking 40s. Yes, an Astro A40 right here. <laughs> Excuse me, insane. I'm even choking because it's insane. And we also have a Skull Candy. So we have Skull Candy, Astro, Tritons, Afterglow. The only thing is, is that when I told you guys, I said I think this one didn't work, is because the ear cup was broken. It doesn't light up. All of these light up. This one's lighting up green. This one lights up orangish yellow, or an orangish red. And even this thing lights up red, which is really cool. A little chat. Uh, the mic part, I should call it. And also the Tritons work. Astros work. They just they are missing the mix amp sadly and these are I don't even know these things are crazy Like they have a bass boost. I'll show you guys all this later And also if you guys want to know what's in the back of this I'm gonna flip it over later in the video and show you what's actually in the back of it Which is really really cool well, first things first we have the afterglow this one does work I didn't for just letting everybody know for the first things first is that I did not test out any of the mics The mics I did not test out this mic this mic all of them. I did not test out as you can hear, a very loud car driving by. Uh, yeah, so I didn't test out mics, I just tested out the actual headset part to see if the headset worked, if you could actually hear music, stuff like that. And the television is on as well. If you guys don't know, this thing is literally a little mini television. It's not a tablet. I did say, I thought it, maybe it was a tablet, but it's not. It is on right now, very hard to see it. But you can kind of see like flashing and stuff. There's a game playing right now. And also, if you want, you can press demo. And all by the way, these light up. The volume, the plus, the demo, they all light up those buttons. Down here as well lights up. And over here lights up. Obviously, I have it plugged in right now. I have an extension cord right over there plugged into it. So it's all set up. But obviously, you can't see it too well because it is a little sunny. And it's daytime, obviously, not nighttime. But either way, really freaking awesome. You see a couple explosions going on and stuff like that but really cool. You can also plug in your own device, which is interesting. So if you have your phone, your iPod, and your tablet on you or something, and you wanna try out your own music through these headsets, you can do that, which is pretty cool. So we have this over here. This is the first headset. We have the Afterglow. I have no idea what it's called. I guess it's called the Afterglow AG9. I actually didn't even look into this. This is interesting. It actually tells you about it. So Afterglow AG9 for Xbox One, it's green LED, which obviously it's a green LED, and uh, PlayStation 4 model obviously has the blue LED, it has Wi-Fi or something, speak freely, whatever it has, it doesn't matter. But we have this one, it does work by the way. The only thing that's really weird about these, like these headsets is literally they're all, I mean they are a little scuffed up, which isn't bad though. This doesn't affect the quality of them, like not the quality, well the sound quality, it doesn't affect the sound quality. Obviously it affects the overall cosmetic look of it. But either way, it's a little scuffed up right there, a little scuffed up over here. This is from people trying them in the store. So, I mean, it's what you expect to find something like this. You have the volume button. Seriously, the volume button is glued, and so is the chat button. These don't move. They don't move. They are solid. They, I guess they glue them so people can't mess with them in the store and, like, break them or something. Then the Skull Candy headset, the Astros, and I think those were it. The actual part right here that plugs into it, the 3.5 millimeter jack, is glued as well, which is really strange. I guess so people can't steal them, which makes a lot of sense. But uh, that's why all these are obviously wired. They're not wireless headsets, because if they were wireless, people would steal them. But um, I guess they could also put a cable on it or something. I don't know. Very, very cushiony headset. Very, very nice. I do like these. And by the way, the reason I kept these all in the actual kiosk, kiosk themselves is I can take them out if I want. There's plugs in the back. You just unplug it. You take it out. But the reason I kept them in is to show you guys what it looks like and all together like this and all nice and clean and stuff like that. I'll show you how to take them out later. It's really, really interesting. So we have that headset first of all. Really nice headset. Very cushiony. Sounds really good. I actually like Afterglow. They're really nice. They're very, the sound quality 
quality could be a lot better. I think they're good. They are good. They're not terrible. They're very good. But the uh, what I like the best is the cushiony of it. Like how cushiony it is. It's so soft. It feels so good. Especially the ear cups. They feel so nice over your ears. I just like the headset. Here we have another Afterglow. This one's not as nice. It's a little bit smaller. It doesn't feel as good on the ears. But it does work. As you can see, it is totally like they're not supposed to bend like that. It's not supposed to bend like that. Obviously, it is broken. I could maybe super glue it together. I probably could. Uh, we have the ear cup here that just spins. It's so funny looking. It does work. And you also have the chat right here, the little mic that goes up and down. Did not test out the mics though, but it does work. Not as cushiony on these, but still a very nice headset. It works. It sounds decent. So, I mean, pretty cool. It just doesn't glow up on the sides. And this one is the Afterglow Level 5. This one's the AG9. Here we have the ones that are orange looking. I mean, oh wait, can you change the color of it? The prismatic color select lighting. <gasps> Whoa, I never read that. You can literally work with Xbox One, PS4, PC gaming, and mobile devices. That is so cool. You can change the color of that. I have to look into that. That is really cool. But again, these are glued, and also they are a little scuffed up right here. As you can see, a little scuffed, a little scuffed. These are glued. They do not move at all. This thing stays in there because that's how it's supposed to. It has Xbox One little uh, port there, but these do sound very, very good. It says Afterglow on the top. It's a really nice, solid headset. It's very nice. I do like these Afterglow ones. A little heavy. The heavier something is made, the better made it is. But either way, it all depends on what you're actually talking about. Don't take that reference for everything in life. It's just, it depends. These are actually extremely light, but they do sound fairly good. But the only problem with these that I do have, the little Triton Camas or, yeah, Kama, Kama, I don't know how to say that. Stereo headset with whatever compatible with PlayStation. They are really nice, but the only thing about these is that they're so tiny, the ear cups. These are good if you're like a, a younger gamer, if you like, don't have big ears, I guess. I don't know, it's just, the ear cups are very, very tiny. They just sit on your ears, they don't go over, and they're kind of uncomfortable for me. So not my favorite headset, still sound very, very nice. So obviously all these headsets, they all adjust to your head size, obviously, because they're headsets. We have this one right here as well, which has, this is funny, because these aren't glued. This is the only headset that's not glued. All of these actually move and they work. So, really weird, but luckily this doesn't have any buttons on it. It would obviously be on the mix amp, which does not come with it, but just a awesome, awesome headset. It's so cushiony, like the feel of it is just so nice. These fit over your ear like so snug, like a bug in a rug. They are just so nice, just a, uh, an amazing headset. And I believe they also spin a little bit each way, which is nice, so they can conform to your head perfectly. Really nice headset, my favorite. If you guys don't know, my favorite headset out of all of these, Astro A40s, then the Skull Candies, then the Afterglow Big Ones, the Tritons, and then the Small Afterglow one. Really nice. Uh, let's go over these ones as well. <clears throat> this is the Skull Candy one, which is also another awesome headset. The reason why this one is so freaking epic is because this one actually does have a built-in mic right here, so you can use that for gaming, I would assume. But uh, the reason I like these so much is because, look, as it says warning, warning, bass control, high and low. This actually moves, it's not glued in. Thank goodness, the bass in these are insane. This is my new favorite headset that you can do bass with. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm gonna take this thing and I'm gonna flip it over to show you guys what's going on in the back. So there is a ton going on back here. If you guys don't know, which obviously you don't, you don't know what it looks like yet. There are the LEDs, which are white LEDs that go through the blue little plexiglass kind of stuff right here, and it makes it look like it's blue. But this is the coolest part. You can see, obviously, the cables from the LEDs. They go up to the back. This right here, it's so simple. It's Velcro. It Velcros off, and you get into the back. That's all there is. I mean, it may look like a lot, but seriously, it's just one little motherboard. That's all it is, just a little circuit board. And then you have all of those headset jacks plugging into these. As you can see, this one right here is Skull Cam. Andy. Obviously it has a little skull on it. You can seriously just unplug it. You just unplug them and there you go. You have a headset. Freaking crazy. So simple. Plugs right back in up in there. So many. As you can see, this is the power right here that powers it. It goes down over this way. It goes to this little power brick kind of deal. It goes to the extension or the cord and then goes to the extension cord over there and powers it. And that's just the headset on the other side. As long as well as these headsets, which I had to put to the side. They are still connected, just I couldn't have them under this. It would damage them, obviously. But there's also the little LCD screen underneath this circuit board, which these right here are for the buttons, the demo button, the two volume buttons as well. You have the, obviously this right here is the little LEDs that run from left and right. And that's like pretty much it. 
and there's just that little LCD screen on the bottom. That's all there is. There's nothing crazy to this. And what's great about this is it's so simple to just unplug a headset and just take it off. Seriously, this I believe is the Astro A41. Yes, I believe it is. It goes right up over here into this. I can just take it right out. I can literally just take it right out. I think it's just, it's uh, held in with a little zip tie right here. I just cut that little zip tie and that's all there is. Like this one right here, this one's so easy. They just, they go right through. Look at that. I can pull the headset through if I wanted to. Freaking easy. This thing is so cool. It's so legit. The cover is so easy as well. So I think I'm going to keep actually a ton of these headsets on it. I think I'm probably going to take the Astro A40s off and maybe the Skull Candy to actually use them. But the rest I'm going to keep on this thing as an actual like display piece because I think it's really, really neat. And that just stays on there just like that. So simple. Goes back down as you can see and then you put all the headsets on it. And that is it. That is seriously it. There was gonna be a ton of stuff in the back of this. I don't know why, I just thought so. Because I mean, this is pretty, it's pretty high. It's, it's a high thing. I thought there was gonna be a lot back there. I thought the screen would have a lot more like components going to it, but it's just so simple. So nice. It's very light, by the way. It's not too heavy. The headsets, when you put those on there, though, it does add a lot of weight to it. But either way, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. You can watch the last video over there, most recommended video over there. Subscribe to the Speedy Gamer and subscribe to the Speedy Diver. Thank you guys so much for watching. This thing was such a blast to make a video about and also to find because it is so freaking cool. And I don't know if I said this already, but when you press the demo button and you press like the volume all the way up, it plays the volume or the music from the screen the actual component into the headsets. It doesn't play it to a like an external speaker, other than maybe an external speaker, but it's actually to the headsets. So thank you guys for watching. That will definitely catch you guys on the flip side.